Hello students, I am Pratima. Welcome you all to this video. Today we will learn how to solve some questions based on the property of triangle that is sum of three angles of a triangle is always 180 degree. So when sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree, there may be many type of question. Two angles will be given. You have to find third one or three angles may be equal to each other. Two angles are equal to each other. What will be the third one? So on. So let us begin. We have taken 15 questions from RS Agarwal book. So question number one. In triangle ABC, angle A is 72 degree. A is 72 degree, B angle is your 63 degree and you have to find the angle C. So what we'll write, we'll write that angle 1 A plus B plus C is always 180 degree. So how to get the third one? Take the sum of the two, 72 plus 63, how much it will be? 135. So if we'll subtract this sum, from your 180 degree, you will get your angle C. So angle C is 45 degree. This is angle C. Question number two is a similar question. Same two angles are given. You can get angle D. You can do yourself. You can check the answer. Is equal to 180 degree. So take the sum 105 plus 40 degree. Again, same answer we are getting. So what will be D? D is equal to 180 minus 145. It will be 35 degree. Question number three. Similar similar question. So first add your X and Z degree. Z, Z. Let us read the question once. In triangle X, Y, Z. It is 90 degree. I am taking this as X. This is 90 degree. Y is equal to 40. Y is asked and this is your 48 degree. So 90 plus 48 is equal to how much? 138 degree. Then angle Y will be 180 minus 138. So how much it will be? 40 degree. Next. Find the angles of a triangle which are in ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. 4 is to 3 is to 2. You can do this question in two ways. First, you will take the question is, so what will be the total parts of the angles? It will be 4 plus 3 plus 2. It will be 9 parts. Then, First angle is getting how many, how many parts? Four parts. So four by nine multiplies the total angle. So it will be how much? It will be four into 20 because it will cancel 920. 20 multiplies four, it will be 80 degree. And similarly, second will be how much? It will be three parts of it out of nine parts. It will be again your already we have cut it by 220. So 3 into 20, it will be 60 degree. And third angle will be how much? 2 part of 9 into 100. So 22 into 20, it will be 40 degree. So this is one way of doing this question. Other way is slightly more mathematical or if you have read your linear equation we can solve by this method what we'll write we'll write let three angles be 
4 times of x, 3 times of x, and 2 times of x. And we are taking x is a constant quantity or it is the ratio. So now, if I'll take the sum of these three, then it will be 180 degree. So 4 times of x plus 3 times of x plus 2 times of x is equal to 180 degree. Or I'm getting it will be 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 times of x is equal to 180 degree. So from this, I can get x is equal to how much? 180 division 9 that will be 20 degree and what is first angle first is your 4 times of x so 4 into 20 so i am getting the same answers second will be 3 times of 20 60 degree third will be 2 times of 20 that will be 40 degree so you'll write the answers so the angles are 50 degree 60 degree and 40 degree next is question number Five. One of the acute angle of a right triangle is 36 degree. Find the other. When we say right triangle, that means one angle is already 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. So when B is 90 degree, A is one acute angle. And C is another acute angle. Now one of these acute angle is equal to 36. So find the other angle. Find the angle C. So similar question. That means if one is 90, what will be the sum of raised to? It will be 90 because total is 180 degree. Or you can write 90 degree plus 36 degree plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Take the sum. 126 plus C is equal to 180 degree. How much will be C? 180 minus 126. This will be 4. 7 minus 2 is 554 degree is the third angle. So other angle is 54 degree. Question number 6. This is also similar question. Here, instead of the angle, it is given that the acute angle of a right triangle are in ratio 2 is to 1. Question is about a right triangle. So I mark this 90 degree. Other angles are in ratio 2 is to 1. That means A is to C is equal to 2 is to 1. So let we can take down as multiple of X. Let Angle A B twice X and angle C B one type of X. Now, when B is already 90 degree, what is the sum of A and C? It is simply 190 degree, 180 minus 90. So now A, we are taking it to X. C is X. So sum of 2X and X is equal to 90 degree. How much? 3X. When 3X is 90 degree, how much will be X? X is equal to 90 division 3. It will be 30 degree. 
So how much will be two times of x? It will be two into thirty. That will be sixty degree. So find each of these angles. So these angles are. Thirty degree and sixty degree. Next question. One of the angles of a triangle is hundred degree, and other angles are equal. So one of this angle is hundred degree. So I'm making a big angle. This is hundred degree. And these two angles are equal. So let them be. We can take as x x equal. Let it be x. So e let each of equal angle be x. Then x plus x plus hundred degree. Sum of three angles will be one eighty degree. So x and x it makes you two x. Two times of x is equal to one eighty minus hundred. It will be eighty degree. Then what will be x? x will be 80 division to 40 degree so each angle is each of equal angle is 40 degree and if you don't want to take as x no problem what will what will write now The sum of these two angles will be hundred minus hundred eighty minus hundred eighty degree, and each are equal. So eighty divided by two, each is equal to forty degree. Simply arithmetic process also you can use. Question number eight. Each of these equal two equal angles of an isosceles triangle is two i is the third angle. In a isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. Here AB is equal to AC, so two angles are also equal. B is equal to C, and each is twice the third angle. They are two times of the third angle. I have taken A as third angle. B is equal to C. Find the angles of a triangle. So let us start this smaller angle. Which the third angle is the smallest angle. This be X. This angle be X. B is two times of X. Twice. Twice means two times of X. So this will be two X. B is two x, C is also two x because it is equal. E two equal angles of isosceles triangle, so B is equal to C. E is equal to two x. So the sum is one eighty degree. So let us start the answer. Let third angle B. X. That is, let it be angle A. Then angle B is equal to two times of X. Angle C is equal to two times of X. Now sum of the angles will be two X plus two X plus X is equal to one eighty degree. Then what is the sum? Two plus two plus one, five times of x is equal to one eighty degree. 
और x इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी डिविजन फाइव हाउ मच फाइव थ्री जर फिफ्टीन थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री सो आई गॉट एंगल ए इज थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री हाउ मच इज बी बी इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स टू इंटू थर्टी सिक्स Is equal to seventy-two degree, and what will be C? C is also seventy-two degree. Now, sometimes if you don't draw the diagram, you can also solve this question. I will write. You will write. Let third angle be. X. Then equal angles are two x and two x. Then again, the sum is one eighty degree. No need of drawing diagram. So five x is equal to one eighty degree. This gives you x is equal to how much? Thirty six we got dividing. So two x is equal to thirty six into two seventy two. So the angles of the triangle are thirty six degree, seventy two degree, and seventy two degree. Next is question number nine. If one of the angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of other two, so that the triangle is right angle. So let us draw a triangle in this this way, where one angle is sum of other two. So I am making one angle is a bigger. Let in my triangle A is a bigger angle. And B C are smaller angle. Then only it is possible that angle A is equal to B plus C. So angle A is equal to angle B plus angle C. Now we have to show that it is a right angle triangle. That means you have to show that some angle will be 90 degree. So now you know that in a triangle, angle A plus angle B. Plus angle C is equal to one eighty degree. Now see this line A B plus C is how much? It is A. So in place of B plus C, I'll make it another A. So I'll replace B plus C by A again. So angle A for this A, and instead of this B plus C, I'll put another A. Is equal to one eighty degree. So how many times of A now we got twice A. So it will be one eighty degree. So how much will be A? Angle A will be one eighty division by two. So this is ninety degree. So when an angle is ninety degree, what we call? We call a right angle triangle. So A B C. Is a right angle triangle. Question number ten. This is a different question. This is a uncommon question. Ratio is not given, but two times of a in a triangle, two times of angle a. Is equal to three times of angle B. Is equal to six times of angle C. Find the angle ABC. How to do it? So let me draw a triangle first, so that I can have a good idea. So now two times of angle A. Is equal to three times of angle B is equal to six times of angle C. So let this be 
x it is equal quantity i can take it x x is a friend of, of us where we will solve a question anything you can you cannot get take take it let it be x it will help to solve the problem so two times of a is equal to your x or angle a will be x by 2 x divided by 2 in the same way 3 times of b is equal to your x again or angle b is equal to x by 3 and 4 times of angle sorry not 4 times it is 6 times six times of angle c is equal to x so c is equal to how much x by six now a is x by two b is x by three c is x by six what is their sum sum is one eight only so i'll write x by two plus x by 3 plus x by 6 is equal to 180 degree. Now, take LCM. LCM is 6. 6 divided by 2, 3. So, 3 times of x. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times of x. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, 1 time of x is equal to 180 degree. Or I am getting 3 plus 2 plus 5, 6 times of x by 6 is equal to 180 degree. 6 times of 6, I can cancel this 6, 6, or x is equal to 180 degree. Is it confusing? No. Because what is A? A is x by 2. x by 2 means 90 by 2. Sorry, 180 by 2. 180 by 2 is how much? 90 degree. So angle A, we got 90 degree. Angle B is x by 3. So it will be 180 by 3. How much? 60 degree. So angle A, x by 2. Angle B, this then angle C. Angle C is x by 6. So it will be 180 by 6. It will be degree so angle a is answer angle a is your 90 degree angle b is 60 degree angle c is 30 degree now let us see whether we are getting same thing or not check the answer so two times of 90 180 three times of 60 180 6 times of 30, 180, so they are equal. So our answer is correct. Question number 11. What is the measure of each angle of a equilateral triangle? What is equilateral triangle? Whose sides are equal. So when sides are equal, their angles are also equal. This is x, this is x, this is angle is also x. A is x, angle B is also x, C is angle also. And what is their sum? Sum is 180 degree, you can get x. So let the angles be x each. So 3 times of x is equal to 180 degree or x is equal to 180 by 3 that will be 60 degree so measure of measure of each angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree 
question number 12 in this given figure d is parallel to bc that means this question is based on parallel lines also a angle is 65 b angle is 55 and you have to find angle a d e you have to find angle a d e you have to find angle a e d a d e how much it is angle a d e is equal to same as your angle a b c what is the logic these two angles are pair of corresponding angles can you recall corresponding angles So angle A D E is equal to your 65 degree. Sorry, 55 degree. So this is your part one. Second part. Second part, what is your A E D? So this this angle A D E we got your 55 degree. Now you can apply the angle sum of angles of a triangle if this 65 this is 55 d angle a is 65 angle d is 55 so in triangle ade angle a plus angle d plus angle e is equal to 180 degree then 65 plus 55 plus angle E. E means AD is equal to 180 degree. So take the sum and subtract from 180. So angle AD is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 65 plus 55. How much is this? It is 120 only. So it will be 60 degree. So this is 60 degree. Next third part is find angle C. C is also 60 degree. Why? Pair of corresponding angle. C angle is equal to E angle. Pair of corresponding angle. Now the question is, angle C also, no need of angle E, you can find taking triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, A plus B plus C is also 180 degree. A, B are given, you can get C. No need of corresponding angles. You can write here, so add 65 plus 55, subtract from C, you will get C. Question number 13. Now we have got some objective questions. Can a triangle have two right triangles? No. Because two right triangles only gives you 180 degrees. So there will be no third angle. So two right angles cannot have two right angles. Two obtuse angles? No. Because two obtuse will make more than make more than 180 can have two acute angles yes all angles more than 60 can it be no because you will take all the angles more than 60 then sum will be more than 180, which is not possible for a triangle. All angles less than 60? No, again, because sum will be less than 180, which is again not possible. 
can all the angles be equal to 60? Yes. Because 60 plus 60 plus 60 can be multiplied. Question number 14. Answer the following yes or no. Can an isosceles triangle be a right triangle? Yes. Because the angle can be 90 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree. So that is isosceles triangle. Can a right angle be a scalene triangle? Yes, angle can be 90 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree. So the sides will be also different. Can a right angle be an equilateral triangle? What are you saying? No, it cannot be an equilateral triangle. Because equilater for equilateral triangle, you need to be 60, 60, 60. No, 90 degree here. Can an obtuse triangle be a isosceles triangle? Yes. Question number 15. A right triangle cannot have an dash angle. Cannot have an obtuse angle. It will have only two acute angles. Right angle, acute angle. The acute angles of a right angles are the acute angles of a right angles are how many? Two. Each acute angle of a isosceles triangle measures acute angle of a isosceles right triangle, isosceles and right triangle. So this is 90, each will be 45, 45. Each angle of equilateral triangle measures 60 degree. The side opposite to right angle of a right triangle is called, it is called hypotenuse. This is called hypotenuse. 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 We read as hypotenuse. The sum of length of side of a triangle, the sum of length of the sides of a triangle is called its perimeter. Its perimeter. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can learn more. And thank you for watching.